Welcome to Wild West Garage. My name is Morgan. That's a 98 Dodge 2500 four wheel drive. And I'm doing the brakes on it, rotors and pads, maybe calipers too. I'm not sure yet. But um, these don't have a hat style rotor that you can just, that just go on over the uh, hub and the, and the uh, wheel studs. They are sort of a hat style, but they're on the back side of the flange, the bolt flange. So they're a little bit more work to, to get apart. You gotta take the whole uh, hub assembly off, the knuckle. So um, I'm just gonna um, talk about a few little shortcuts, I guess, tricks that I use to get this thing apart. So one of the, so one of the hardest parts about this job that I find is getting this hub out of the um, out of the steering knuckle and you can see how rusted up it gets and it gets they get stuck in there pretty hard so once you get these bolts out of the back side and I don't know if these originally started out as 15s but I used a 14 socket I had to kind of pound it on there to get these out they came out pretty easy actually so, what I do to get these out of here, I get the axle orientated like that, and then I put a socket in here. In between, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jam it in there. I put a socket in there like that. See that? All right. So I, I. I put a bar in, in wherever I can and turn the steering so that stays in there. And then, then I go in the truck and I start the truck up and I turn the steering. So in this case I turn left and see, you can see what's happening here. See, that, see how the axle is pulling out of the housing? So basically, and the, of course, this, the whole steering knuckle will be turning. So what that does is it just pushes this, this surface here, pushes on the back side of the bearing, and it pushes the, the bearing out. So I'll start, I'll give it a little crack on one side and then I'll move this to the other side and it just they just come right out. It's real easy. And then for the uh, to get the the rotor separated from the from the, the hub. So this will be on here like this. Right? This will be laying on here. I'll just put it back on there. So that's laying on there like that, that's how that goes. So you can screw around with uh, the press, and press these wheel studs out. So what happened, so yeah, so the, the wheel studs go in from this side and then they spline into the, to the hub flange and they hold the rotor on the, on the flange. So like I said, you can, you can screw around with a press, but all I do is I put this upside down here, so I'll just pretend the rotor's still on there, and take Mr. Hammer and just whale these, all these out of there. Takes about three good hits, and they're out. Okay, here we go. Time me and tell me how much, how long this takes. Oops.
Here we go. They're all up. Got this volunteered. So now I know some of these are gonna need to be ground a bit. Because I kind of missed on a couple of them. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's uh that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Yeah, oh, looks like I might have gotten lucky here. Even though I kind of glanced off one or two of them. Nah, no, I'm gonna have to do some work. Oh yeah, have to do some work on that one. So you need to keep the clock running because uh, this is all part of this deal. Okay, two of them I gotta shake to the grinder. this in a press and you know line it up on all those studs go back and forth with the press go ahead so then when it comes time to put the rotor back on put the hub on this 4x4 post here drop all the studs in and just start smacking them in with a, a drift of course I wear a glove because I don't want any shrapnel in my hand. I'm using my Challenger ratchet that I've had for 40 plus years. It's actually my dad's bulletproof. When I was, uh, oh, you just saw me using this as a hammer. When I was working uh, in the auto wrecking industry, as a, you know, just in my late teens, early 20s. Actually, I don't think I made it to my 20s. It's 19, yeah, 19 when I quit that job. I'd use this thing as a hammer all the time. And one time it just completely blew apart, like the screws came out and everything went flying. It was out in the yard. I managed to find all the pieces and put it back together and still, man, I was just, I mean, it, it's coarse, but it's, it's beautiful, I love it. I'm using a inch and three quarter socket on this. It's a bit big, but it's doing the job. Okay, so I have a file here somewhere. So I'm just gonna go over and file this maybe surface here. So there's nothing. interfere with the new rotor going on. It's all flat. I like these coated rotors because they're not all covered in oil. You don't have to clean them.
it. Done. Ooh, shiny. <laughs>